What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield, and not just any content, the Crown Tundra has finally released, which means we got tons of new Pokemon to show off on the rank, slash casual ladder, and in today's video, we got a good one for you guys. We got a Galarian Articuno team with two Ultra Beasts, two starters, and a Tapu Fini team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos and it helps the channel grow as well. But yo, look at this team right here. It is looking phenomenal. I cannot wait to show off all different Pokemon and I'm going to need your guys help. So if you guys want to help me out by building me teams, chances are they will get played on my YouTube channel if they include some of the new Pokemon such as the new Dragons, the Hoenn starters, all the Ultra Beasts, all that good stuff, the Tapus as well and stuff that are just ranked or allowed in ranked battles if you guys are interested in that definitely dm me over on my instagram page jeans underscore youtube link to that will be in the description below and if you don't want instagram try to get me the teams i guess through uh youtube comments or maybe my twitch page you can uh whisper my twitch page link to that is in the description below anyway just try to get me some teams there are high chances of me playing them if you guys are interested you guys already know what to do but rocking out on this team today we got the one and only galarian articuno with that life orb and competitive ability are you kidding me this thing gets competitive this thing's gonna be a beast it is psychic and flying type with freezing glare i do not know what that move does yet because i haven't actually defeated the crown thunder yet i'm working on that right now it, it also has air slash recover and protect awesome move set right here i cannot wait to show it off we got Ferramosa, a nice little ultra beast over here with beast boost ability the focus sash and then the move set of ice beam close combat lunge and coaching which is amazing behind my face cam i do not know how to pronounce this thing bear with me here stakataka stakataka I think that's how you pronounce it. Stock attack right here. We got a rock and seal type with rock slide, high horsepower, gyro ball, and we can roll trick room with it as well. We got the weakness policy and beast boost ability. We got that normal Rillaboom over here on the right side with that grassy glide knockoff, wood hammer fake out, grassy surge, all that good stuff. You guys already know about that. Same thing with the Incineroar in the bottom left with the fake out flare with Stark Slayer and U turn. Assault Fest, Intimidate. But in the final spot, we got another new Pokemon over here, which I am actually very, very hyped for. We got Tapu Finny right here with the Misty Surge and the Weaky Berry. Moon Blast, Money Water for Stab. Icy Wind to slow down Pokemon and protect. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And I almost forgot to say this team right here was sent in by a fan, but I did realize that it was made by Pokesports. So Pokesports is another PokeTube channel. And I'm going to be leaving a link to this channel and all that good stuff down in the description below. So definitely go check it out. They made this team. Hit them with the subscribe button show them some love all that good stuff but without further ado let's hop into some battles with this brand new galarian articuno team for our first battle we're going up against a guy with no new pokemon this guy's probably looking at my team like oh my lord i'm gonna get smacked up here and yeah this guy's gonna get smacked up here we're gonna put the workings on him try to get ourselves a win with this team to get us started and uh guys let me know for question of the day yes we are bringing back question of the days uh what pokemon would you guys like to see me play next whether it be like dragonite a hoenn starter it better be something from the crown thunder please make it a new pokemon for me i would love to uh, play some new pokemon for me but definitely let me know in the comment section down below uh what pokemon you guys would like to see me play next on the casual slash rank ladder and let me know what is your new favorite pokemon that is returning okay who am i gonna get started with here i kind of want to get started with articuno and just roll out with that and see how that can go i said we do that we could go incineroar here as well incineroar is a beast or i could just go straight squad with articuno Faramosa, stakataka and tapu finny i kind of like that because we can coach up right i think coaching i totally forgot what coaching does is it special attack or does it just boost physical Oh no, it's attacking and defensive stats. Okay, so coaching with that wouldn't be too good. So I'm gonna go here. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop Incineroar. Go Tapu Fini and Sakakaka. I don't like that. Kind of like that. Yeah, yo, let's do that. Tapu Fini and Sakakaka. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but we got the we got all this wrong. We're gonna be trying to catch ourselves a big fat W for this first battle. Oh my lord, yo, Crown Tundra is hype. Crown Tundra is definitely hype. If you guys want to check me out playing the Crown Tundra, link to my Twitch is in the description below. Streams are actually going to be back, so after we do complete the Crown Tundra, we're going to be hopping onto the rank ladder, pushing that, playing some other games as well. So link to my uh, Twitch page down in the description below, Jeans25 on it. We're going to be streaming three to four days every single week once again. But yo, look at, oh, oh my lord, look at Articuno here. Dude, this thing's looking sick. It's looking real slick. Um, hmm, who do I think has a sash? That's the real question. Who do I think has a sash? Um, I think I might just Dynamax here and set my own terrain. I kind of want it, or I can go for a freezing guy. What does this do? The user shoots a second power from the eyes. This may also freeze the target. Um, I think I'm going to drop you, and I think I'm just going to fake out you and roll out from there. I don't think we Dynamax. I don't think we Dynamax. I think we just stay still here. 
Yeah, okay. Get that fake out. Drop that on him. Oh my lord, yo, that did a heap amount of damage. Freezing glare coming out here. Let's go. Is this thing sashed up? No, get this thing out of here. Oh, yo, look at his move. Look at this move, dude. Sashing? No sash. Yo, get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here, yo. Galarian Articuno gonna sweep here. We don't get started off strong. Just dominating this battle. Fl Flareon flinches. We chillin', we chillin'. Look how sick this Pokemon looks. Just standing with like its wings, just chillin'. Oh my lord. I'm in love. I'm in love with this Pokemon. Mr. Mime coming out here. Oh, dude. This is pretty much GG in the can here. Pretty much GG in the can. Um, I'm actually gonna Dynamax now to like boost speed. I don't even think we have the Dynamax. I'd say we just go for another Freezing Glare. Um, pop it over on the Flareon. This should actually pick up the KO, I'm thinking. And then I'm thinking I could just U turn out. I'm thinking I just U turn out. And maybe throw in, uh, throw in one of those, uh, Ultra Beasts. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Freezing Glare comes out. Or Tapu Finny, I'm probably gonna drop out. I love, I love me some Tapus. I love me some Tapus. If you guys are going to make me teams, that's okay already. Yeah, okay. Flareon dead. But if you guys are gonna make me teams, preferably the Pokemon that I wanna uh, show off first is going to be the Dragonite or the Dragon lineup. Oh, yo, you go first, you hunk of junk. Okay, so we can't U-turn out here. Should have probably uh, max air stream, boost our speed. But Pokemon that I do want to show off first is going to be the Dragon lineup. So, like, we got the uh, Salamence, Dragonite, Garchomp, those three. Uh, Metagross, the Hoenn starters, I would love to, and the Tapus. Because I believe the Tapus are going to be ranked viable. That's pretty cool. If you guys do know the rule set for when November rolls around, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to read it and all that good stuff. But um, do I Dynamax now? I don't think I Dynamax. I think, I, I think we just stay still. I think we should stay still. And then we can just keep uh, trying to go for a U-turn here. Trying to switch out. Are you going to Dynamax? Right, go for a Dynamax, my dude. He's going to Dynamax. Probably Heat more, if I had to guess. Heat more coming in hot. And I really don't care if you take me out. We got Sakakaka in the back. Then we got Tapu as well. And Tapu could set its own Surge to help it out. What is it, the Misty Surge? Dude, the Tapus are so good. My favorite one is uh, probably uh, not Finny. It's uh, Coco and what's the other one? My two favorite are Coco and the other one. Not Bulu. It's not Bulu. The one that I can't name. Here we got Freezing Glare doing some damage. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze on it. Give me the freeze. Can you imagine? <laughs> He'd probably be so mad. Hypnosis coming out here. Yeah, yo, we uh, we going to sleep. Yo, look how cool that bird looks. Like, bro, I'd love to show off all the birds as well. Hey, hey, hey. And you know what's also very cool about the Crown Hundred is the two new Pokemon that came in, the little horses. They're tough. They are so tough. The Ghost and the Ice type. I chose the Ice type. I don't know what you guys chose, but the ghost type looks pretty cool too. They're both like OP. They're very, very strong. This dude pops off a crit and he takes out my Articuno. How do you take out my Articuno like that? Um, I think I just Dynamax here. Maybe pull out Tapu Finny. Look at Finny, yo. Finny chilling. Yo, this thing's a beast. Let me see this thing's stats real quick. Here, let me check out the stats. Not 113 speed. This thing's 29. Oh my lord, yo. You get this thing in Trick Room. It's night night. It is night night. Look at this thing. Stakakaka's chilling. He's chilling. That bulky defense. Dude, that's not even EV train. 231 defense? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That thing's a beast, but I think we just get a Tapu Finny here. I'm thinking Tapu Finny should be able to... Might not be able to outspeed us. Uh, might not be able to outspeed us. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Tapu Finny, though. Do I Dynamax Tapu Finny? I gotta see Incineroar speed first. I gotta see Incineroar speed, because I don't want a Dynamax just for that thing to uh, go in with a Hypnosis. And put my Tapu Finny to sleep. And that'd be, that'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad. So let me check out, uh... Let me check out my dude's, uh... My dude's speed. Incineroar. What, what are you rocking? Are you higher than 113? You're around 89. 89. Do we think that this Rhyme is outspeeding us? That's a real question. Do I protect this one turn? I feel like I should. I feel like I should protect this one turn. And... Mmm... And just try to drop a flare, but maybe we'll wake up. If not, we should be able to wake up next turn and do some work on this mission mine. So yeah, I'm gonna Dynamax here. I'm gonna drop a guard. Try to play this one slow. Slow and steady wins the race. You guys already know the deal. But yo, the Tapus are rocking. The Tapus are rocking. I feel like uh this new this new like generation of Pokemon, not generation, but this new add-on of Pokemon in the DLC is going to change the competitive field in such a good way. Like, I cannot wait to uh, hop in the rank battles with the Tapus and all that good stuff. But free try coming out here. We're going to get a block. That thing might have outsped me. Incineroar does wake up, so good guard going on here. Flurbutt's popping off. Um, if this thing's not Sash, it could be Sash. I don't know. It's going to take it out, though. Okay, beautiful. Get this thing out my face. Get it gone. Get it out of here. So, is the heat more coming after us as well? No, it's not. It's just gonna drop a max race. Slow us down, but yo, I'm a big fan of that uh that guard. I'm a big fan of that guard. Ooh, wee. No stab damage. Get out of here. 
No stab damage. Poo damage right there. Speed's gonna drop. That's all good. We're pretty much chilling here. We're gonna get the victory in battle number one. Rocking out with this squad. Got y'all, uh, Tapu Fini a little bit. Just a little bit. But mostly, uh, Galarian, uh, Galarian Articuno. Which is awesome. I definitely want to show off the, uh, the what's called the Ultra Beast as well. Oh, this thing's dropping another guard. What are you doing? Yo, we eating that up. We eating that up. That's tasty snacky out there. Dropping our speed again. That's fine. You're, you're dead here. You're dead here. Even through the max fire, I think Tapu Fini might be able to pick up the KO. If not, we got Darkest Lariat backing us up. Looking to pick it up for us. Let's see if we get it here. And we do not. We do not. Eat more chunk. Dark Slayer should be able to pop that out. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. We got the rain now. We chilling. Don't make me waste another turn. Don't waste your time, buddy. Get KO'd. Yes, let's go. Let's get it. What a way to start off this video. 1-0. Oh. We're going to try to go 3-0 today. I'm hoping we can get it to start off the Crown Tundra. Like, that'd be amazing. But... First battle in the bag. Let's hop into battle number two and keep this win streak rolling. Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. Second battle. This guy has Galarian Moltres over here and Tapu Fini as well. So we're seeing some newer Pokemon or going up against them at least. But first battle was a success. It was a success. We dominated. Absolutely slapped on that fool. But we're looking for a second win here. Trying to go 2-0. and oh. And who should I play? He's got a Moongus. Amoongus. Uh, I, I said Amoongus, but I kind of said it like Among Us. If you guys play Among Us, that game is so much fun. I have a blast with all my friends playing it. But back to Pokemon. This guy also has Incineroar, Top of Finny, Urshifu, and Togekiss. Ooh. Togekiss looking a little scary here. Togekiss. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to roll a Trick Room. I feel like Trick Room would be good, but then it's Amoongus. will uh, will thrive under it as well. And that's like half and half. He has Incineroar. Hmm. But I really want to go here. I don't want to lead the Articuno again, no lie. I kind of want to do that. We're going we're gonna to lead Articuno. We're going to lead Articuno. I think I'm going to try to uh, roll a Trick Room. Bring Tapu in the back, and then I think Rillaboom would be the slowest, right? How slow is Rillaboom? 81? Yeah. Let's bring you and Tapu. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I love the Tapu. I really do love the Tapus right now. The Tapus are so good. They can set the Surges to help them out. They got a great pool or a move pool that you can choose from. They're so, dude, such, strong, such strong Pokemon. And, the, and there's four of them, so you can kind of like choose your typings. Like you, got, you got a wide variety of typings with them as well. But they're all amazing. They're all amazing and viable in each way. But Galarian Moltres is coming out here. What's goody dog? Versus Big Dog Articuno Galarian. Uh, I want to see the typing of that Galarian Moltres. I really do. I'm definitely going to uh, set the trick room here. But let me check out this real quick. What are you? You are dark and flying. Okay, so you don't... None of these birds are uh, holding their normal typing. Dark and flying. You cannot even go away for that. I'm going to drop a uh, freezing glare over here. And then I think I just set a trick room. And we will... Or, 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 or. Now, we're going to set this trick room. Trick room's going to help us thrive out. There's no way you're just going to go after my stock attack. You're going to go for a follow me. That's, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. And I think this uh, Moltres is going to slide across going after my Articuno. Freezing glare coming out here. Can we get the freeze? Can we get the freeze, darling? Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Let's get after it. Give me the freeze. Not bad damage. Give it to me. I would love to get the freeze with this move. No freeze. Nasty pocket. Ooh. Okay, so you gotta go. He's dead next turn. He's dead next turn. I'm gonna make sure of it. Actually, I cannot make sure of it. Um, trick room popping off here. Uh, I gotta drop a rock slide. I do have to drop a rock slide. He's gonna probably Dynamax, no lie. So I'm gonna drop a rock slide, and then I just freezing glare over to you. Or I just air slash over onto you. Because this thing is obviously going to trick him. He's obviously going to trick him. Or not trick him. He's obviously going to follow me and uh, keep this Moltres alive. So I think if he doesn't Dynamax, he goes down to this shot. Or at least this double shot. Definitely what's called is going to go down here. Tokus. Tokus is going. This rock side. Hopefully it connects. But if he Dynamaxes, then we're looking a little scary. Unless he keeps my stock cock alive. Unless, unless he keeps this thing alive. Then I Dynamax next turn and it's GG. Because once I get rid of Tokus, we're going to be thriving here. They can roll out a uh, Tapu, or I kind of want to get Rillaboom out here. I want to get Rillaboom, because I can just knock off items. I don't have to play around anymore. But let's see what this dude does. Let's really see what this thing's play is. We got some Rock Side. We still got our Weakness Puzzle. So if you trigger that for me, that'd be pretty tough. But he is going to Dynamax. Kind of saw that one coming from a mile away, which uh, I guess I'm fine with. Hopefully he goes after my Articuno slot. Hopefully he goes after my Articuno slot. I think Moltres is slower than my Articuno. My Articuno might be the best to the field. Let's see what happens. Rock Slide definitely gonna come out first. 100% slowest Pokemon right here. This thing might be slower than Hatterenes and stuff. 
You protecting? Oh, okay. Actually, I'm fine with that. I'm kind of fine with that. Rockside coming out here. Once again, get blocked. Please land on this Moltres. Do some work on this thing. Let's get it, dog. Doing some damage. Not bad. And then the Air Slash is going to slide over here as well. Max Dark is coming through here. Please call my Articuno. Is that already? Yeah, it's already. Okay, cool. I'm totally fine with that. I'm 100% I'm fine with that. Hundo percent though, fine with that. You want to drop my special defense? That's totally fine. We need to take that thing out. Like, he's got to go. That would have been a good, uh, could have dropped the rock on that thing. I kind of want to bring out Tapu. I want to bring out Tapu here. Um, but at the same time, Lil Boom would be nice. Let me see Lil Boom's on moves ever. Uh, we got the, oh, we do got the fake out. Yeah, we're going to bring out Lil Boom. I'm going to fake out the, there's no way he goes for the protect, right? On the Moltres? No way he goes for the protect. I'm going to set this grass Surge. I'm going to fake out on the, uh, Tokus and Dynamax drop a rock ball. And hopefully take out that Moltres and then run the battle from there. I think, I think that's a smart plan. Only way this isn't going to work is if he protects. If he protects, game over. No, if he protects, it's not game over. Why did I say that? But I need this Moltres gone. He's plus two on the field. Get the Sandstorm. Going in our favor, considering we are Rock and Ground type, I believe. But yeah, this thing looks like... This Ultra Beast looks like something straight out of Breath of the Wild. Like something that you would just see coming at you. It's like a Guardian mixed with like a Breath of the Wild wall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's gonna withdraw token. Oh, I'm totally fine by that. I'm totally fine by that. I'm totally cool with that. Hopefully we end up. Oh no! Oh no! You smart biscuit. You smart biscuit. We're down to Max and Saka. We are minus one, which which stinks actually. It actually stinks now that we're minus one and we're down maxing. But hopefully something can trigger our weakness policy and bring us right back up. Look at this. Look at all like, the eyes inside of it. Like, jeez, this thing's crazy. This thing is crazy. But this will not take out Moltres, I don't think. Fake out's coming out here. Don't, don't teensy bit of damage. He's gonna fake me out next turn. That's fine by me. Rockfall coming out here. We're gonna set the uh, Sandstorm as well, which is gonna help us out. Get this thing going. Take it out, please. Oh, it does take out. You are the best. You are the best, Mr. Ultra Beast. I love you, dude. I love you. Big plays coming out. That really uh, might have just won us the game. That might have just won a scene. That was huge. Taking out that Moltres. It was plus two on the Nancy Pot setup. That was crazy. That was crazy. Thank God. We got the Beast Boost as well. What stat is going up? Our defense. Is going up. Okay, I'll take defense all day. So if you guys do not know what uh, Beast Boost does, every time you pick up a KO, your stat that is the highest gets a plus one stat read. So pretty nice. I think defense was like tied with something. So I guess it's like RNG at that point. And it goes from there. But... The Grassy Surge is going to neglect the Sandstorm damage, but Sandstorm is really just going to help out my Stock Kaka and Dynamax form. Help it do a little bit more damage, and uh, I think it gives a special defense boost, right? Two Rock types, something along those lines. Oh, bro, I just lifted up my cup, and my coaster was connected to it, and it just fell on, fell on me, so. Uh, that's why I got the little bit of, oh, that's why I said that. <laughs> but Toka's coming out, oh my god, yo, I'm loving where we're sitting. Look at this a lot, definitely a, uh, a fake out's coming towards me. But that's fine. I'm going to at least try to go for a grand. Uh, I guess I'll go for a knockout. Try to take off your item. Might be a soul fest it. Um, the quake? I say I just keep rock falling. We could actually get the defense boost as well. But I can totally see it following me coming out here. It's definitely going to fake out my... Uh... Yeah, you're definitely going to fake out my... Uh... My real boom. 100%. So I'm just going to get this defense boost and start bulking up. I think that's the play. We don't have a Dynamax. We still have Tapu in the back, right? Is that, the, is that our Pokemon we have in the back? Yeah, we have Tapu in the back. Which is lovely, which is just dandy candy. Let's see what we got. Oh, follow me. He's coming out here. No fake out? I'm cool with it. Ultra Beast goes first. But we'll be able to knock off Incineroar's item, which is absolutely huge. So, you're gone. We get the defense boost. Awesome. Gonna be able to take off Incineroar's item because I don't think he's taking me out one shot here. I do not think he's taking me out one shot with a Flare Blitz. Probably not Robin. Robin's pretty bulky. We got the defense boost as well. This thing is physical attacking. Beast boost coming out here. Another defensive boost. We are thriving. <laughs> we are thriving. And we still have weakness policy. Flare Blitz coming out here. Yo, that's a tasty snack you got there in Cinnamon. Let me eat that up. Thank you very much. Defense boost definitely helping us out there. This thing's going to take some uh, nice little recoil. And we are sitting good. And we're going to say see you later to your item. Thank you very much. I'll take that. I'll take that. What you got on you? Ooh, we got a crit too. Ooh. Gene's playing good. Yep, the salt vest. Just what I thought he would have. And the buff as well. Going to take a little bit of damage, but get neglected by the surge. Yeah, sitting good. Trickin' was the call here. I really did like it. 
A little scary in the beginning considering that Moltres. Moltres did throw me off of that nasty plot. That is what's going to happen in these uh, battles. Like, I'm going to get thrown off by so many new moves that I'm not ready for. Like, Pokemon coming in here, new uh, synergies, new little uh, tactics going on. It's going to be crazy. But, uh, hmm. Let's drop a wood hammer. Or do I, I'm just going to grassy glide this. Actually, we are going to be starting that thing. I might as well just wood hammer. Good game. It's game set and match. I have a rock ball over on you. That's GG, baby. That's GG. This team, this game's over. You better run, dog. You better run. Your team can't handle this one. They cannot handle this. We're going to swap out. or not swap out. We're going to rock out, and we're going to go 2-0 with this team to get us started and get us rolling strong. I'm hoping we can go 3-0. That could be so awesome. That would be amazing. We go 3-0 in a, in a new DLC starting us off with this team. And I cannot wait to show off like the newer Pokemon, like the Dragons, the Hoenn starters, all that good stuff. It's going to be so much fun. But one thing I did realize while playing the Crown Tundra so far, I probably only played like an hour and a half to two hours into it. It's kind of tedious in the beginning. Kind of annoying. Like, I love the area and all that, but it's like, okay, go here, then come back here, talk to this guy, talk to this guy, do all this. She's like, I just kind of wanted to explore everything, catch some new Pokemon, but they're just kind of keeping me in like tedious little uh, quests. Aqua Jet coming out here. Oh, that was that was like a last dish effort there. I give him props for going for it. He was like, I have to take out this Rillaboom here, or he's just gonna outspeed me. But Rock Falls gonna come out here, take out Incineroar, no problem. See you later. And then this Woodhammer is also gonna rock out here. If this thing's not Sash, it's going down one shot. We got the Grassy Search. It's like 120 base power. But dude, this thing's defense is plus four, isn't it? <laughs> we are just bulking up. We're just bulking up here. Woodhammer gonna come up, clean this one up. Oh, it already took damage. It wasn't Sash. Okay, beautiful. Game over. GG. Let's get it, guys. 2-0. Oh, we're going to get rocking into our third and final battle. And I'm going to let you know now. I think we are going to get that perfect record. Hopefully. I don't really want to jinx myself here. Yes, sir. Look at the team we're going up against. This guy's got Dragonite, Feramosa, Tapu Lele. That was the other Tapu I was thinking of, I believe, in like battle number one that I wanted to talk about. Uh, Metacross right here, Feramosa, Talonflame, and Comfy. Looking like an awesome team right here. Comfy coming back in. I feel like that would work well with uh, these, some of these new Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Um, who should I roll out here? Who should I get started with to get this match rolling? Uh, I kind of want to go Feramosa, but at the same time, I don't want them. Feramosa is a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, this thing has Metagross. Gotta watch out for that weakness policy on the Metagross. Obviously, the thing's a beast. I'm definitely bringing Tapu Fini because Tapu's just roll out in so many different ways. And I can counter Surges. I don't want him getting his own Surge. Actually, your Surge will work well with my Articuno. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead Articuno. Um, we're pretty fast. His team is pretty fast as well. Do I lead Stock? I might, I might lead Stock. Or do I lead my Feramosa? Actually, I'm gonna lead Incineroar. I'm gonna lead Incineroar and just uh, kind of cancel out a lot of this. I'm gonna go Tapu Fini and Feramosa. The reason I am bringing Incineroar, if you want to go for that Tailwind, I'm gonna just fake you out right off the rip. Get that rolling. Oh, but yo, he can go. I just realized that he can go Lele, get the Psychic Surge, and then go Talon Flame so no fake outs can roll out. Oh, that'd be a nice combo. That'd be a nice combo. Like, I was just saying this in the last uh, video that, that there are going to be some combos that I cannot really control. Okay, Incineroar and Articuno pop off here. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Mm. Intimidate is going to be wonderful. Intimidate is going to be wonderful here. Um, I really don't want to fake out the Dragonite, but at the same time, I kind of do. But at the same time, I kind of don't. I think I'm just going to drop a Freezing Glare over onto you. And just fake out on the Confi. Because uh, Chance Star Confi is not going to Dynamax. And Dragonite might actually Dynamax. But it is minus one, so that's that's pretty big here. That's pretty big. Dude, it feels so good using, like, Incineroar again. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ever since the ban, like, seeing, like, Togekiss and all that stuff, it just feels good to use these Pokemon. But he is going to end up Dynamaxing the Dragonite, which I'm 100% fine with. He's physical attacking, I believe, right? Using moves like Fly. He's got to be physical. He's got to be physical. So, he's minus one. I'm cool with that. He's probably going to uh, try to drop my Articuno, which, again, I'm, I'm fine with that. We're going to get the freeze anyway. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling really lucky here. I think like we're gonna get this fake out, and then we're just gonna drop this big old freeze here. Draining Kiss comes out first. Oh, you triggering policy, dog! You triggering policy! That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty smart too. And oh, dude, I forgot about that with the Comfy. I forgot about that with the Comfy, which is nuts. That yeah, its uh, ability triage goes through fake outs. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze. I'm feeling lucky, baby. No freeze. No freeze. Max Knuckle coming out here. Oh, baby, this thing's boosting up. This thing is boosting up. He does not pick up the KO, but this thing is boosting like crazy. We do outspeed. We do outspeed that Dragonite, which is huge. 
Do I Dynamax and try to pick up the KO here? I don't. Th I don't think that would pick up the KO. The Max Mindstorm. I don't think I picked up the KO. But I think we just go for the freeze. I don't think the Max Mindstorm would pick up the KO. And then I mean, if, if we can't get this off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to drop this uh, Dragonite. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Dude, Dragonite's so good. Floral Healing's coming in here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This thing is set up like crazy. We gotta get a freeze on it. Like, that's our only way. Freeze this bad dude. Freeze him. Get him out of here. Freeze him. Give me a freeze. I haven't got one yet. What is it? Bro, no freeze. Airstream's coming out of here. That's gonna take out my Articuno. Or no, he's just gonna go to Air my Incineroar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not looking good for your boy. This dude is setting up with his Dragonite. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Dragonite coming out here. Pheromos is probably the only thing that could potentially outspeed him. Maybe drop an Ice Beam. Try to do some work up against this thing. Maybe go for a double freeze chance here. This thing is plus one. I don't know if it's full speed, but Pheromos is like 223, something along those lines, which is absurd. I'm going to go for the Freezing Glare. I'm doubling up trying to freeze this Pokemon. We got we to gotta go for it. We got to go for it. Hopefully, he'll go after my like, Articuno or something. Then we can... Uh, Bring in Tapu. But, you know, we need Freeze. He guards, yo. This dude guards. <laughs> this dude outplaying me. But wasting Dynamax turns. That's cool. I wonder what he's going to go for with his, uh, with his, uh, with his Comfy. Wasting turns. A Trick Room. Okay. I'm actually with it. Do I, no, I don't Dynamax. I'm not going to Dynamax. I'm going to roll a Trick Room. He's going to roll a Trick Room. Um, I'm going to double up just in case the Freezing Glare does not take out the Dragonite. I think he might swap Dragonite, to be honest. No, he goes for an Ally Switch. Oh, this dude's running. This dude's playing good. This dude's playing real good. Freezing Glare comes out here. Yeah, get out of here. Get him out. Get a crit or something. Do him dirty. We got the orb. Do him dirty. Get a crit. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze. No crit. Dual wing be coming in here and Pheromos is gone. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Pheromos just gets dumped on. Dumped on instantly. Okay. So there's still a chance here. There's still a huge chance. Can Tapu Finney come in here and clutch this up for your boy? Tapu Finney's a beast. It's a beast. I'm not gonna lie. We get our own surge. He has Tapu Lele in the back. I can 100% guarantee that. I can 100% guarantee a Tapu Lele chilling in the back end. Um, the real question is, are we going to see an ally switch here? Freezing Glare will take out uh, probably whatever. I think I'll just drop this here. I, I say he doesn't go for it. And I don't Dynamax. Actually, do I Dynamax? I am going to Dynamax considering if he comes out with Tapu Lele. Then we just switch the surge right back to our, our own. So we're going to do that. We are gonna do that. We don't want we don't want that that psychic surge. We want we want our misty surge. Now, this game is still doable. I don't think Trick Room was a play there. I really don't think Trick Room was the play there. He's gonna witch all Dragon Knight, throw in Lele, right? No, Metacross gets popping. Okay. Metacross gets popping. He's gonna be able to eat this up, no problem. That's actually that's actually a good choice there. Good choice. Good dude, this guy's playing good. This guy this guy knows what he's doing. He's testing out this team for ranked battles. He's playing really, really well. I'm hoping we can, we can clutch it up, but this is, this is gonna do like poo poo damage. Tapu Lele is really not going, to, or Tapu Fini is really not gonna do too much damage here. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, kid. Any case comes out, do, do a teensy bit of damage, trying to get some HP back. Uh, this glare, this freezing glare, should be able to take out. Starfall's gonna come out here. Freezing glare, or uh, the what's called, would actually help us out as well. The psychic surge. Would help us out. Freezing Glare comes out here. Get it. I don't think Metagross is that slow. I think it's a rather fast Pokemon. But uh, this thing's dead, 100%. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Finally, Confi goes down. Dragonite's still a thing. But we still have Trick Room. Articuno is rather fast. Articuno is... Is it faster than Dragonite? It is. But it wasn't faster because of the plus one. So, Pheromos is going to come out here. Alright. Both our Pokemon... Actually, Articuno probably will be slower. Uh, freezing Glare can come out here. I think I just air slash this thing to be honest. Try to get the flinch on it. Then I think I just geyser over here. I think I just geyser. I do as much damage as I can. 
Thunder Punch coming. Oh, you rocking Thunder Punch, dog? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Not doing too, too much. I, I, I'm liking where we're sitting. We actually, I think we, I think we have this one. I think we have this battle. Considering he rolled that trick and kind of helped us out. We get that going. Hopefully we can get the punch. This thing's probably Sash if I had to guess. The Pheromos has got to be Sash, right? Air Slash coming out here. Mine is Sash. His is probably Sash. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. I'm looking for the flinch. That's why I did. I, that's why I did go for the air slash. I was considering it being flinch. We're well, not flinch sash. So I was going for the flinch, and it did work. It did prevail. Okay, beautiful. Um, air slash again. I think so. Or I could recover. And maybe re read a protect option. Hmm. I said we do that, and then uh, and then keep uh, keep the pressure on this mana gross. Keep the pressure on this Metagross. Let's see what happens here. Thunder Punch coming out here. Over on my bird. Bird's dead. Bird's gone. All right, bird down. Tapu Finny. Can you do him dirty for me? Let's see what you got. Metagross gone. Can Tapu Finny clutch this up? We have one more turn in the Dynamax, right? No, no, that was it. This is it. I can't go for a Muddy Water in the rain. I still have my berry. I still have my berry, which is actually pretty nice. Ice Beam coming out here. He's going to get the freeze. Watch. Watch. He's going to get the freeze. Probably. He does not. Okay, Twisted Dimensions are back to normal. Dragonite might actually fly here. Oh, dude, they're both going to be faster than me. Dang, I kind of needed one more Trick Room turn. I kind of needed one more Trick Room turn. But, yo, dude, this guy played his battle really, really well. I got to give it to him, hands down. Got to give it to my dude here. Played it really, really well, dude. That dual wing beat actually was boss enough. Um, this is not going to be very effective, but I got to go for this. I have to go for this. Oh, that's a fact. I have to drop this. Take out the Pheromosa and try to do some damage on the Dragonite. Pheromos comes in with the Ice Beam. We'll eat that one up. But I don't think we're eating up uh, whatever this Dragonite has to offer. Unless he misses, which would be huge. Do Wing Beat. Oh, we're eating that up. We, we're, we're in this. We're in this. We got our berry popping. Hold up. Yo, hold up. Hold up, yo. Tapu Finny? Doing work? Muddy Water comes out. Pheromos are gone. I don't know if this Dragonite can take us out. If we get a, if we get a shot off, it's game. Oh my lord, hold up, hold up them. Hold up, because I think dual wing beat is his best option. And we can eat up another dual wing beat. Yo, hold up, wait a minute, Tapu Finny clutching? Tapu Finny clutching, baby? Yo, yo, get off of me, get off of me, Tapu Finny OP. OP, game over, the clutchest Pokemon on planet Earth. On planet Earth is Tapu Finny. Do you see that? Did he just 3-1 that? He's a beast. He's a beast. No one's stopping him. Nobody. Awesome set of battles right there. We just went 3-0 with this brand new Galarian Articuno team. One last shout out to Pokesports for making this team. Like I said, a fan sent this in and I realized that, so I want to give them a shout out. So link to their channel will be in the description below. Go check them out. Go sub over there and check out all the cool teams that they do have the offer but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live and don't forget if you guys want to send me in teams please do it in my instagram dms link to that will be in the description below like i said i'm looking for a bunch of new pokemon or new teams from the crown tundra to show off on my youtube channel thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everyone